And what can I have on this diet? Pizza and pasta. Oh my gosh, this Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber drama. You guys, I am serious about losing this weight, y'all. Y'all, I don't feel super Gucci fire fuego right now. I'm so hung up on this idea. So currently, am I thinking about doing this diet again? Who doesn't want to eat pizza and pasta and lose weight? Like, come on. I just couldn't do it anymore. I said goodbye. Surprise! This week's mystery video is another diet video, y'all. We're going to be trying something a little bit different. But not so different, but different. You get it? You get it. Your local Italian Mexican girl wants to have her pasta fixed. She needs it, but she's also on a weight loss journey, so here we are. We are doing the Lean Cuisine Diet. Natalie, why the Lean Cuisine Diet? Girl, why not? <laughs> okay, y'all, to be honest, the very last diet video that I did was the Dry Salad Diet. It was a good one. However, what I was craving was pizza and pasta. And what can I have on this diet? Pizza and pasta. So for example, this Lean Cuisine five cheese rigatoni meal is 360 calories. And this Lean Cuisine four cheese pizza is only 370 calories. Who doesn't want to eat pizza and pasta and lose weight? Like, come on. So I am very excited to see where this week takes us. Y'all, ah! They say that a good way to lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit. So I'm thinking that I'll be able to stay within a caloric deficit while having lean cuisines. So hopefully that's going to help us out in that area. And if you don't know, I started my weight loss journey at 200 pounds and now I currently weigh 155 pounds. So you guys get the idea. I'm gonna be having lean cuisines every single day. I'm going to be documenting my weight. I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I eat. And yeah, let's go and have a lean cuisine. You guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for being so incredibly sweet to me in my last video where I was talking about my experience dieting and how I felt about it and all that stuff. And you guys just make me feel so emotional and I just feel so loved and I cannot be more grateful. I love you guys and I love our little community and I love that we are all in this together and we're not alone. We're just trucking on, okay? We're trucking through the weeks because we have to, okay? We have no other choice but to keep on truck, truck, trucking on. And even though I do get emotional sometimes talking about my weight loss journey and how I feel about dieting, I just want you guys to know that I do feel okay and that I am doing all right. I do have a really good support system. I have my family and my boyfriend and, and I just want you guys to know that I am a-okay and that it's also okay to get emotional about the struggles while being on a weight loss journey and just know that it's gonna be okay in the end and that everything's gonna work out, okay? Y'all, what if I cut my hair like super hella short? Could we get behind it? I was almost going to do that my junior year of college. Can you imagine? How cute would this look? Like short to the point where I can like flip it out like this. Y'all, good morning. I woke up 154 pounds. Girl. And I had pasta and I had pizza yesterday. Girl. Say no more. Say no more. <gasps> I am having coffee today. I know. I'm shocked. It's not my usual energy drink. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good. I also worked out yesterday. I did a little incline workout. Today I'm going to work out. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it right now or if I'm gonna do it later on in the day, but I definitely do wanna get a workout in maybe two. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I am serious about losing this weight, y'all. It needs to go. I want to get down to the 140s. I want to feel awesome this summer. I feel like this is the summer, you know? It's just, this, this is my problem area, y'all. I have a problem with this region, okay? First off, let me just take a couple steps back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for my stomach. Thank you for my stomach that holds food. 
Thank you for my stomach and my belly area that will one day, hopefully, contain life within it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my feet. Thank you for my hands. Thank you for my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my neck, my hair. Thank you, Lord, for this moment in which I'm breathing air. Thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity to share my story and share my journey. Amen. You know, sometimes we have to have those moments, right? Where we're complaining, but we don't really know what we're complaining about. And then what I'm trying to say is you don't know what you have until it's gone. So it's just nice to remember these moments where you got to just be thankful for just being. I'm always thinking about how I, I want to change and how I want to lose weight when, you know, God thinks I'm perfect the way I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, I'm just having a moment. You know, God truly loves me how I am. And God loves you how you are. You know, I'm so hung up on this idea. The Lord has spoken to me through my mind. <laughs> Thank you, God. It's good to be healthy. It's good to take care of your body. God thinks you're perfect the way you are. Just know that you're loved, okay? Oh my goodness, I did not think that this, I did not think that this day entry was going to end up like this, but hey, that's life. All right, we're gonna have a good day. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to have some lean cuisines. I'm going to have great food and it's going to be a good day. Complete the heart. Not today being the last day of February. I had no clue. I had no clue. Why is it going so fast? Hey y'all, it's the third day. I woke up 154 pounds. I'll take it. The only problem is any more lean cuisines. So let's go. love a good hat. Do we not love a good hat? Hats just hat. So y'all, as you guys can see, I don't have my nails on. I'm going to do them today though. Yesterday did not go as planned, right? So, and what I mean by that is I didn't get a chance to work out yesterday. This morning, I felt like a bunch of pimples were trying to spawn on my forehead. And me putting a hat right now over it is probably not helping, but we're gonna see tomorrow. So yeah, guys, this morning I woke up 154 pounds. I'll take it. I'm going to work out extra hard today just to see what the results could possibly be tomorrow. The Lean Cuisines. Yesterday, they were delicious. I made the pizza in the oven as opposed to microwaving it. It made such a huge difference. I'm going to do that from now on. The pasta, chef's kiss. I had the pizza and the pasta together as one meal, so it was ah, so good. But before we work out, I'm going to have this Alani New. It is the peach flavor. This is one of the most recent ones that they've had. It's delicious. It's really good. Cheers. Dink. That's good. That's really good. So I'm going to have this and then I'm going to work out. I'm so sorry. Look, I did my nails. Eee! So today is day five of my lean cuisine diet. This morning I woke up 154 pounds. We're chilling. The good news is we're not going up, right? Hey, hey. It's a struggle, guys. It's, a, it's an everyday battle, 
career. So let's just do a little makeup because y'all, I have some things on my mind. Like I show you guys this, right? This is what you guys see. But it's like, I would not feel confident, confident? Like I just wouldn't feel confident, you know, like showing like me doing like a simple workout or me showing you guys me walking on the treadmill. Like me walking on the treadmill, I'm like, mm, I can't do it. It's a work in progress. You know what's crazy is that last week I did the dry salad diet and I literally weigh the same. I weigh the same as I do this week. Granted, I think last week when I was doing the dry salad diet, I felt so much better than I do right now. I kind of feel a little sluggish, a little bloated, but I weigh the same, but I felt a lot better while I was doing the dry salad diet than I do right now in this moment. So currently, am I thinking about doing this diet again? Not really though, I'm not really enjoying how I'm feeling right now, you know what I mean? I'm honestly really excited that this is my last day on the diet because I'm just thinking, give me the home cooked meals, you know? Like, wouldn't that be fun? Like me cooking in the kitchen, me showing you my hand cooking in the kitchen because God forbid I put my body in the frame, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, it's not Easter. What is that? It's like a piece of plastic. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear my laptop like literally huffing and puffing like girl Are you okay? Get it together over there. Just as long as you don't explode Okay, enough of that back to me y'all. I don't feel super Gucci fire fuego right now I don't know what it is. It literally just hit me right now I feel like the weight of the week that I had just caught up and hit me right now in this moment i have not been sleeping my best yesterday i literally kid you not i fell asleep editing in the living room girl i just could not do it anymore i knocked out this is gonna sound really silly to say but with being a youtuber you really are the creative director the writer the videographer and the star <laughs> and the editor <laughs> Sometimes I just want to be the star and I leave the editing to the last minute. And I do enjoy editing, but sometimes the editing just, oh, it just takes up so much time, you know, and something's got to give and that's my sleep. My sleep says, sayonara, good luck editing. So it is a little bit tiring, but I just love doing this. I have so much love for this YouTube community. You guys are my favorite. Honestly, you guys are my favorite. I don't care about Instagram. I don't care about TikTok. I care about you guys, okay? That's what I care about, huh? Oh my gosh, the Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber drama. You guys, thank you for bringing that up. Okay, so here's my two cents, okay? I just think that the whole entire situation is sad no matter what point you look at it because first off if Haley and kylie were actually bullying selena like on the low low like hoping no one would catch on that is messed up i do not believe in bullying like honestly that must be so annoying for selena for people to keep bringing up her ex-boyfriend like let it go bullying is not okay bringing up someone's ex-boyfriend for the 10 billionth time not okay trying to tear up someone's marriage not okay that's it that's my two cents i'm gonna tie it up wrap it in a bow do with that what you will just as i finished talking about the whole selena and Haley situation wow a pimple has spawned i'm never talking about anybody ever again i'm sorry jesus gossiping y'all you know what that's another thing we need to work on gossip okay we need to work on not gossiping and jesus is coming y'all whether he's coming within the next year or 200 years or 2000 years, he is coming back. And the beautiful thing is that it's never too late to start a relationship with God. <laughs>